Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about our new accessories that go on top of your accessory. They are so beautiful. I also have a bling ring I'm going to show you, um, but all of our products are awesome. I wanna show you guys exactly how to use these little puppies. Uh, we have so many different colors uh, and they are so awesome. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to use it. I already have my Ponyo in. I will give you guys a demonstration of how to put on the Ponyo. It's super fast, super easy, and uh, I think you guys are gonna really enjoy these products. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a bun with our bun pins. There's so many styles you can create with it. You can make it an accessory or it can actually hold your hair, which is a really cool quality. So it can either be decoration or it can actually have a functioning um, process for your hair, which is super exciting. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give my hair a little twist. And something that's really cool about the Ponyo is that it gives you a base for your style. So it's gonna make your hair look thicker in the style that you do, uh, which is really cool, uh, especially if you have fine hair like me, so you have really, really thin, fine hair. This is going to wrap around. I like to give it a twist because that's going to kind of gather all the hair and make it a little bit neater. You can always mess it up afterwards. You go around. I like to put my hand here, just kind of steady it. Twist, and you can always make it whatever you want. Twist, ooh, I like this one. All my buns are always different, which is really fun. Okay, then you're gonna take your hair accessory. This is the bun pin. And what you're gonna do is you go down, I don't know if you can see, you go down towards your head in the bun and you're gonna slide it inwards. So underneath the ponyo. So it's gonna really secure it. So you go down and then in. And my bun is secure, just with one. I like to put a couple in because I'm extra and I like the designs and the colors to mix it up. Oh, that's another orange one, let's do a different color. So we have so many really fun colors. Oh, here we go. How about a pink? The pink's so pretty, look. It like just shines, I love it. Okay, so same thing, I'm gonna do it pretty close to the, the same spot, just to kind of make them look like they're like clustered. Down and in, look at that. And I'm gonna go ahead and mess up my bun a little bit so I can properly place them where I want to have them. Boom, okay, that's, I love this. Okay, and then I'm going to do a, let's do a grip. Do I have a green? No. Let's do a green. So this is a really pretty, this is my birthstone. So I really love this one. Uh, I'm an August baby, but this one's super pretty. Do you see how it just like shimmers? And what you're gonna do is again, go downward and in. And these do come in a pack of two. They are the same colors. I recommend getting a couple different colors because how freaking cute is that? It's so pretty, it pops and it's different. And everyone's gonna be like, what the heck is that? Because there's not really much out there like this. So yeah, these are awesome, going nowhere, very secure. And again, the bun is so cute and fun. So yes, these are awesome. Also, we have uh, bling rings, which I will show you in a minute, but there are, a, but these do hold, which is amazing. Like all you need is ponio and pins and you've got like the cutest top knot ever. You can do half up uh, bow buns. And I'll show you guys how to do a couple different styles with it. So what you're gonna do is just take it out, take it out. No damage. So anything us as, as a Ponyo company puts out is going to be non-damaging because that is what we believe in and we believe in the health of your hair and we want to take care of your hair. Um, so none of our products will damage your hair, which is fantastical. Uh, she got the purple and pink ones in the mail, yay! You're going to love them. Let us know if you need help. I would love to see pictures uh, Cassie, if you can post us a picture or send us a picture or a video using it, I would die because I love when I get <laughs> any footage from our customers because it makes me so happy. Um, okay, so again, let's do, uh, what should we do? If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take the pony out. I'm actually going to show you guys how to put it on. And again, all of our products are non-damaging. So you're going to take it out and boom. No more hair in your hair ties, which is fantastic. Okay, so oh, I'm a mess. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on um, for you guys so you can see how it goes on and all that good stuff. Okay. So you pull your hair up. I'm gonna kind of take my time and make it look decent. Okay. Da -da -da. And again, if anyone needs any help, R, Customer service is literally the best out there. We will even do a free FaceTime with you if you need some extra help, some tips for styling and all that good stuff. So we are always here 
to help. So make sure to um, utilize those uh, tools. We also have a really good uh, how-to page that is fantastic. I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step tutorials, just like uh, a YouTube would. So what you're gonna do is put two fingers to the ponios. You don't want to do this, okay? You don't want your whole hand through there because it's not gonna, it's like awkward to pull through. So do like a little crab claw or a baby shark is what I like to do. I'm a mom, so that's what I think of. Baby shark, you pull the hair through the top, keeping the ponio close to your head, okay? Keep it pressed down. And what you're gonna do is squeeze the ponio flat, okay? So it's completely flat from end to end. You're going to make it flat, flat. You see how it spreads your hair already? Boom. What you're gonna do to make it ex extremely secure is bend the ends in. I will show you the proper bends. Uh, make sure not to do this and just bend it at once because that's not going to hold as secure. It holds, honestly. But uh, if you have super thick hair, you want to make sure to do these proper bends. So important. So what you're going to do is take your thumb and your other thumb and you're going to wrap it around that thumb to where it shoots straight backwards, just like that. Same thing on the other side. So you're gonna take your thumb and your other thumb, wrap it around, do a nice sharp. And this one is an XL, which I don't need, but you can definitely use an XL um, if you still find hair. So if you do get an XL and you, know, you don't necessarily need it, that's okay, because it will still work. Um, but yeah, look at that ponytail. <laughs> Love it, it's high, it's fun, and <laughs> it's going nowhere. Okay. So, um, I want to show you guys our bling ring. Where did it go? I just had it. Oh, it's in my pocket. Okay. So here's the bling ring. Um, and it is stretchy and magnetic. So these are the accessories to your accessory. So there is, um, so many different things we're coming out with. There's so many different products we have that you may not know about, but this is just one of them that will dress up your look instantly. Boop, boop. So all you do, non-damaging again, you put the decorative side like away from you, like facing outward, obviously. And then you make the mag magnets touch in the back. I'll show you. See how it's like touching right here? And then when you take it off, all you do is take your nail and slide it through. But I'm gonna keep it on so y'all can really see what is going on. And that's it. I'm a little messy today, but I kind of dig it. I feel like the messier the better. Like 90s grunge, right? Um, okay, let's see. Um, again, you guys, let me know if you guys have any questions. Please feel free to DM us. We're always here for you. Um, and we will help you with anything you need. And if you have anything, you guys, let me look through some comments to make sure I'm not missing anything. Awesome. You guys are awesome. Okay, cool. Um, do you guys want any other styles I could do? Let's see. I'll go ahead and take this out. Let me show you the low pony, because the low ponies are really pretty. And I normally do high, and so I feel like you guys don't really see, like, you don't have to be super dramatic when you wear the ponyo. Like, it doesn't always have to be, like, high on top of your head. Um, okay. So I'm going to brush out, because I know I look crazy right now, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Awesome. Half up? Sure, yeah, we can do half up. Totally. Love it. So again, two fingers. Point your thumb, point your thumb. And you're going to... Feed your hair through, keeping the ponio close to your head, okay? Drop your hair, squeeze it flat. All the way from end to end, you're going to take your thumbs, bend up, bend up, give it an extra squeeze, and boom. I hope y'all could see that. You've got the perfect, this is my jogging pony. This is how I wear my hair when I run, just because it's like, not like flopping on top of my head. So yes, these are awesome. You can tug, pull, it is going nowhere. Okay, so that is the low ponytail. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, so we're going to take it out. Again, non-damaging. No hair, which is just like, that's revolutionary to me because I don't have much hair to lose. And if anything else comes off my head, I feel like I'm gonna be bald. So yeah, this, the non-damaging aspect of it is like everything to me. Um, not only to, not to mention it's comfortable and non-damaging, all of that good stuff makes your hair look thicker. Hello. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, so we're gonna do a half up because I saw that. Okay. All right, half up. What you're going to do is take your hair. You part it as 
you please. I like, whoop, again, I'm a little messy today, I'm sorry. I like to take, I like to leave my bangs out up front, just kind of what I've always done. You can always pull back everything and do a really cute half up. But again, I like this kind of like my style. Everyone has their own look, okay? So what you do is take two fingers. Again, it's the same process every single time. Two fingers, feed your hair through, keeping it close to your head. This is our 2.0. Someone just asked about the size. This is our 2.0. Um, it is thinner version of the ponio. Great for sections of hair, children's hair, and um, if you have fine hair, it works really, really well as uh, too, because it's you know it still holds really well. So this is our half up half up look and I freaking love it this was my signature look I'm all about the full pony since I'm in Texas but this used to be like my signature look as a half up because I think it's just so freaking cute with a pony up um and again my hair tie like if I'm wearing a hair tie my um my little pony is like pea size it's really really small so the pony really spreads it out and makes it the illusion of it thicker fuller ponytail and you know bouncier so Okay, actually, I want to show you guys a cute top knot using our uh, pins. So, ba -ba -ba. okay, I didn't show you the purple yet. I want you to see it. Okay, look at our purple. I love this one. It's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. And again, it shimmers. I'm obsessed with it. All of our colors are really awesome. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get a top knot going. So again, I'm gonna get a little twisty. And every single bun you do, is going to it's like a snowflake it's like all of them are different um which I, that's why i love buttons so much it's like you never get the same look twice okay so you da, 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 and once you hit that end i'm going to take i'll go ahead and do my purple take the purple and go down into the bun and you're going to slide it in boom cute okay same thing with a pink so we got the pink go down I get close because again, now I get to look like a cluster. You can design it however you like. Everyone has different preferences and different styles. And this is just mine. Okay. Great. Yes. Okay. Same thing on. Let's go into four. So we'll do. This one is one of my favorite colors. I just feel like it like pops and looks so cute. It's almost like a neutral. Okay. So you go down and in. Again, you got to kind of play with it, work with it. Get some fun, fun bun going. There we go. Cute top knot. All right, and then a green. We're coming out with some new styles of the pins too, so be on the lookout for that. But look how freaking cute that is. I love it. So again, you just want to like adjust it and play with it how you like it. And boom. Yes, love it. Comfortable. It's not like you know bobby pins. They like poke your head. Uh, these don't do that. They just lay there and hold, which is really nice. Just make sure to do the, the down and in, and that's going to make it really, really secure and comfortable. Um, and yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take these out. I saw someone wanting to do a bun bar. I will go ahead and do that um, for you. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, here's a bun bar. I'm seeing all kinds of fun comments today. Um, okay. So the bun bar is open on one side, closed on the other, and it's really fun to use. You're gonna love it. So, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all my hair up. All right, boom. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make it like as smooth as possible and as fast as possible. So you guys bear with me. Typically I take a lot more time, make it super, super tight and there we go. Okay, all right. So again, it's gonna be the same process as your uh, regular Pony. Well, I am using our Pony 2.0. It is our thinner version, great for sections of hair, great for the bun bar and great for kids and really fine hair too. I know I said that earlier, but I wanted to just like reiterate that. Okay. All right, so you're gonna take two fingers, your pointer and your thumb. And again, it's gonna be that baby shark or crab claw situation. <laughs> so you're gonna take it, feed your hair through, keeping the ponio close to your head. Okay, squeeze it flat from end to end. 
And again, this is going to secure it, make it nice and tight. So you wanna give it a really good squeeze in, squeeze in. Two squeezes, you wanna do two individual bends. That's super important. And then I'm going to, since I'm doing the bun bar, I'm getting really thirsty. Since I'm doing the bun bar, you're going to want to give it an extra squeeze and make kind of a touch from uh, in the back. I don't know if you can see that slip touch in the back like that. Okay, all right, look at that perky pony, even with the 2.0, it's pretty incredible. Okay, bun bar. Okay, now you take, let me back up because you're gonna have to be able to see better there. Okay, you're gonna take your bun bar, you center your hair in the bar, and then go up, you can you only really need two rolls down so if you have shorter hair it will work for you but i go up to my shortest layer just depending on what how high your hair goes and you roll down towards your face once you hit your head you're going to do bend bend it in bend it in and then give it a good squeeze nothing too tight the end will really really tighten it and squeeze it but for now just give it like an, an even like a nice squeeze where it stays Okay, and you're gonna take your fingers and roll your hair over. And do the same thing. Roll, roll, roll. And then give it, now it's time to really squeeze, 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 and you, you can keep covering. There we go. Squeeze the crap out of it. So squeeze, 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 squeeze. Boom, done, so easy. So this bun is perfect. It's like a little more formal. Uh, less messy and if you want it even bigger, which I always like it super big, you take your fingers, give it a little tug. Um, tug, tug, tug. The bigger the better. I'm from Texas, y'all. Okay. And boom, you have the cutest bun for work, for play, whatever you like to do. So. Awesome. Okay. Well, this was so much fun. You guys are awesome. Let me know. Um, okay. I'm sorry. I'm writing comments too. Okay. Let me know if you guys need anything. Give us a message. Uh, definitely send us um, pictures, reviews, anything we love that makes us so happy. So thank you guys again for joining me and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.